And hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Dynasty Tactics 1. I almost said Dynasty Tactics 2 for some reason there. We are... Oh, you're heading for my other. This son of a gun, Feijan, who's literally just himself, is going after, after my other uh, territories. Now, can we... I don't think we can actually take these cities, so what I'm going to do is just surround Feijan... Uh, if, you, if you don't remember where we are at in this Let's Play, then we have given an off offer by Shu to ally with them, or we can simply work to pacify the land, which means taking down Feijan. Now, we are going to go down the Feijan route. Oof. I want one of you. Yeah, you. Do you have the... You don't. But I want to give Liu Qi that item I have on policy. So you can get through to get these guys. Because I want them for my army. So we are going to try and uh, uh, just go down this uh, Feijan route, this alternate history route. Because why not? We're already going down an alternate history route, technically. Don't really need to save here, do I? No. No. I am not negotiating alliances, I'm just moving them through. Right, move my armies around. Force him to keep his army there and his capital. Fighting this guy isn't going to be hard at all. Right, I want you guys to move um, up to... I was going to sneeze, but managed to not. Nice. Okay. Right, that should get a, a few of these guys. Don't need to save. They're going to fight. Liu Bei is one, surprisingly enough. Got Jiang Lang, awesome, I he's a useful spy. Got Liu Zhong. I swear I could have got more from that. Right, but give me your own policy and you can be relieved. Who's left here? I could get Liu Biao. Um, and I could also get Masu. But not in this scenario, unfortunately. Right, so last turn, so obviously we're gonna we're gonna charge now. Hmm. Let's uh, charge in with. Let's charge in with these two armies here, and actually name. Uh, let's see if I've got any spies I can make here. I thought you were a spy, Zhang Lan. I could have sworn you were a spy. I could have sworn that I've used you as a spy before. Oh well. Right, let's end this turn and end this scenario with this battle with Fei Zhan. It's not going to be much of a battle, to be honest. It's essentially just going to be a slaughter, is what it's going to be. Now, I think I'm going to, usually what I would do from this uh, recording session is just record one scenario per recording session, but because this scenario is so short, I'll do two uh, two scenarios. Progress this Let's Play quite a bit. And it's not even Fei Zhan, it's Fei Yi sending a different army to fight us. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what we do here. We've got this. We, we can win this, no problem. Now, it's just a horseman and infantry and Feijan himself. So why did they say Fei Yi if it's Feijan? We can't capture him because he's a ruler, so there's literally nothing we need to do here. I didn't even send a strong force. But I thought, hey, why not? Might as well, right? 
I don't even need to do anything to be honest. Let's just this is gonna be the quickest battle ever. I'm trying to level up Lu Meng and such and all my other guys, trying to level them up. Because we're getting to some tricky situations in the next few scenarios, I'm assuming. Ling Tong's right up there, he's got a high vantage point. <clears throat> so I will take care of this horseman and infantry unit before taking care of Fei Zhan. Yeah, let's cross this river with Cheng Gui. That's a whole day, a whole day to do nothing. Move up and get Sun Si on the mountain. Sun Si is unique in that he's the only one who has the Conqueror skill. Get ready to fight Cheng Pu. Now I think um, Liu Bei's forces are going to get wiped out because we are going to refuse their offer. Because I don't think I need to work with Liu Bei to defeat Sal Sal. So I will make the fight with Sal Sal a bit harder. But, in all fairness, I don't think it actually will because when I, whenever I've been allied with someone in this game, they've tended to not do a single thing. So, I really don't see the point in allying with Liu Bei and giving him some land when it's not going to actually help me. Now, let's get to this horseman unit and take him down. Do we need to capture just eliminate for the experience? Let's set up a little tactical combo here if we can. Get some forces up there. Well, let's wipe this guy out. Didn't finish him, strangely enough. This will finish him. A boost and a faint. Alright, finish this horse minute so we can so we can move on to the next scenario. <clears throat> That's that. Just get that infantry unit in the northeastern part. And that's us. Yeah, that's not gonna work out very well for you. If I can get Wang Lang over to that grass unit, that will be quite helpful. Chengbi, I don't think you're gonna see much action in this battle to be honest. <clears throat> Let's move. Why not? Let's boost. Nope, don't boost him. Pardon me. Why not? This is a very boring battle. There's literally nothing to do here. Oh, I can circle and then that will repel and then that will do a ton of damage. Come on, hung guy, bring the pain. That's terrible, hung guy. That is terrible. I'm disappointed in you. Right, 
Right, come on, get down there so we can finish us off. You're now effectively useless, hung guy. Four days. Four days and we've accomplished nothing. The frustration is real, guys. Ugh. A stupid river. Constantly making me unable to actually move places. Well, I can pincer. That's useful. Might as well. Now let's volley. Oh, no, that's not a volley, that's a boost. Oh, well, use it anyway. I think using tactics gives you experience, more deeds to level up. So, I mean, it might as well. We're going to win this battle anyway, so. Why not? Boost. Get up there. Why not, right? Right. Gotta suppress this little rebellion before we take on Salsa, though. I should finish off this infantry unit. Yep, no more infantry unit. Okay, now we can take care of Fejan. Now that his army is the only army here. Now his unit's the only unit left in his army. Sorry, Sensei, you're not going to get any action in this, I don't think. No action here for you. So I'm better off putting Zhou Yu there. Let's do this. I like Cheng Pu. I like his Kark model. Oh, I can get Sunsi. No, I can't. Can you circle us around? Come on, guys, you're both better than that. Come on, guys. Really? Right, we're going to finish this off with a pretty awesome combo tactic. Tactic combo, even. Finally, you get to actually do something, Sunset. This is probably overkill. Turn around. That's always vaguely dirty to me, I think.
And he's done for. I don't know what he thought he was going to be able to accomplish. Literally revolting just himself. But that's that scenario done. Very short scenario. And a bunch of people leveled up. That's good to know. Circle, that's good. Repel's good. Decoy's good. Muddle's good. Zun Yu and Hao Zhao against Li Bin Zhang Fei. Sao Sao wins. We've occupied Xi Jin back. We've took that back now. You didn't have a paradise. You had one city. <clears throat> Pressed by Sao Sao, Liu Bei fled Jing. Liu Bei and all of his officers disappeared. Meanwhile, Sao Sao sent an advance force across to Changyang and it occupied Lu Ku. The showdown between the forces of Sun and the forces of Sao Sao was fast approaching. I hate it when the game does this. I hate it when it takes things away from me. Sao Sao's force, gathered from the heavily populated Zhong Yuan area, was said to approach a million men. In contrast, the forces of Sun are few. In an attempt to even the odds, Sun Tse calls a council of war and begins to lay plans. My lord, you were missing this morning. Yes, we had excellent weather today, so I decided to take a ride and see how the enemy was formed. By yourself? It is faster that way. There is no one around who can keep up with me. My lord, the commander of men must not place himself in danger unnecessarily. Think of your men. If anything were to happen to you, it would mean our defeat. <laughs> Don't get so angry. Actually, I have brought back some interesting information from my raid. I have learned where the enemy supply depot is. All supplies are being gathered at Mount Juti. Also, the defences there are rather weak. Sao Sao defeated Yuan Shao by burning his supplies. I do not believe he would allow the same thing to happen to himself. I saw it with my own eyes. There is no mistake. Sao Sao is taking me lightly. He believes that I will try for a naval battle in the Qiangjiang. And so what do you believe we should do? We must attack Mount Juti and burn his supplies. Without supplies, Sao Sao will have no choice but to retreat. Though to open the path to Mount Juti, we must first take and hold Lu Ku. When we have that in hand, I will. My lord, are you not going to say that you will personally lead the assault now, are you? Of course I am. This battle will decide the war. Do you think I will let something this fun be done by someone else? But my lord, the commander... Stop, show you. Not another word. This is something I must do. Sun Tse has decided to attack Luku. I think Sun Tse's going to die. Oh, my armies must be reorganised. Damn it, I hate it when it does that. Right, so we've got a... This is the new scenario that I'm going to complete. Six turns. Maybe not, actually. Maybe I'll do another one. We've gained Lu Su. Nice. Right, we've got six turns to do this. We are at... We are... We're at war with Sal Sal. He's taking Lu Ku from us, which is annoying. Why? 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 I mean, I guess it's a good... But... The game clearly wants me to use this army. Jiao doing Sao Sao's army is in Gong An. Where's Mount Juji? Can't actually see this. I think this is a trap. Right, so we are going to. I'm gonna have to form another army first off. Right, Chengui, you get to um, Chai Sang because we're gonna consolidate our forces there. Because they are, we're going to let them take Wu Chang and then take it back. They're probably going to take Jiang Jia. Right, but we need to form armies. The fun thing, the funnest thing to do. Champion, you're going to lead yourself an army. You're going to leave me. You're going to be my secondary army. Um, that's going to be led by Lu Jun. Gang Neng. And Hungai, that's my, this is my back, my secondary army, that's the army that I want to get straight down to Chai Sang with my other army. Now, who will lead the other armies? Zhu Sheng, I think your time has come. Now, hmm, let's put Zhu Xu in charge in there, I want it to be a decent army, but I am also wary of... 
I've not got that great guy. I guess Yu Huan is quite a good guy. Mm, yeah, take Ling Tong. Right, Lu Meng, you're leading an army. And take Lu Su with you. Because these guys have quite high... Like, who else? I do definitely want you to have... Um... Ooh. Right. Take Zhou Tai and also take Dong Ji. Dang Feng, you're going to lead an army. Uh, take Chen Kun. Take Pang Zhang and Hang Dang. And Zhang Zhao, you'll also lead the final army. I've got such weak officers at this point in the game, it's, it's annoying me. Take Kanzi. But yeah, take Juran and... And take Jiang Quen as well. Right, so now I need to do all this. Now can we, we can't charge through Heifei. We can't take any of Jing. So basically we are completely restricted. So essentially what this scenario is going to be is me, is me waiting to the, the final turn to take that area. That's annoying. That's really annoying. There's actually nothing else I can do. Apart from maybe gather, uh, capture some of his officers when he attacks. Which is probably what I'm going to have to do. I'm also going to see about any civilians that I can get. Let's see what, we're, what the lay of the land is like. Who needs to be a spy? Can't get Yan Bai Hu all the way up there. Or Kong Rong. I can't get them up there in that amount of time. Okay, where's Me where's Meng Da? Guan Peng is I can't there's no way I can get one turn two turns three turns four turns. Oh I can I can get Guan Peng. Liu Feng, you are going to get Guan Peng for me. If I can get Guan Peng, I can get Guan Zheng and all the rest of them, so I'm, p I'm pinning a lot of hopes on you to get going to get him. I think that's pretty much it. So yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here. Um, the next time you see me, I'll probably I'm probably because there's actually nothing I need to do here apart from wait for him to attack, and then take his officers and then capture them. So that's all this scenario is gonna consist of. So I'm gonna cut all that out. I'm gonna do all that out off camera, and then I'm gonna end this scenario. I'll come back next time when we are charging to take Luku and once Luku is done I think Sunsu is going to die to be honest and then once Luku is done that's when uh, we'll do the battle coup and then we'll I'll finish the next scenario since I'm getting a lot of mini scenarios here so thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Dancing Tactics I hope you have enjoyed if you have enjoyed please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel for further content from myself with the 95 content which includes Dancing Tactics Dennis Wars 3 and Mass Effect. Thanks guys for watching and as always, take care.